If you're just starting with sewing, sewing a straight seam can seem a little challenging. At first, when I first started, I was like, this can be so easy, sewing a straight line. Like, how hard can it be? But once you get to that end of that line, you will realize that your seam was crooked. You did not sew a consistent straight line. So in this video, I want to share my tips and tricks on how to get a perfect, perfectly even straight seam. So the first method that I wanted to talk about is one that's already on your sewing machine. Your sewing machine actually has some guides here. For me, my sewing machine, this bottom guide is based on my needle being in the center. So you'll see there's a one fourth there, there's a one inch here. There's also some guides over here for three eighths and so on. So what you want to do is line up your fabric with that line that's already on your sewing machine. And the key to sewing a straight seam is that you should not be looking at your needle. Do not pay attention to your needle. You should be paying attention to your guide here. You want to line up your fabric with the guide on your sewing machine and just pay attention, making sure you're lining it up. Then you'll notice that you have a nice straight line. The key is not looking at your needle, it's looking at the guide. Along with that, another method that you can do is buy a seam guide ruler. I love this one by Madame Sews. I'll have it linked down below. It comes with a metal guide as well. So how this works is you would pick your seam allowance, whether it's 1 4, 3 8, whatever. I'll do a 3 8 one here for you. You bring down your needle into the hole of that and then you'll put down your presser foot. You'll take the metal seam guide that comes with it and you'll line that up with the edge of your ruler. You'll then lift up your needle and lift up your presser foot and you'll then use this as a guide just like we did before. So you'll line up your fabric with that right here, the edge of your seam guide and you'll just make sure your fabric is lined up there and you will continue to sew. Just pay attention to where it is. Here, don't pay attention to your needle and you will have a nice consistent seam. If you don't have a metal seam guide, what you can also do is take something like painter's tape or masking tape, and then you can put it on where you want your seam to be and tape it down on your sewing machine. And then just like we did before, you would take your fabric and line it up along the tape. And you will just pay attention to that tape where your fabric is with the tape and you will start sewing. And then you'll have a nice consistent seam allowance. When you don't need it anymore or if you need to shift it, it's easy to just lift up and place it at a new seam allowance. Another thing that you can do is that you can use the edge of your presser foot as a guide. You can move your needle to the position that will give you the seam allowance that you want and then just line up your fabric with the edge of your presser foot. And just like before, you will just pay attention to where your fabric is with the edge and you will just use that as a guide and sew all the way across and then you'll have a nice straight seam. Now let me show you what would happen if you were paying attention to the needle and not your where your fabric is. So I'm just gonna pay attention to the needle. If I get this straight, I will be shocked. So you'll kinda see that started off being kind of straight and then towards the end it just got crooked and crooked and crooked i hope this video was helpful and informative if it was please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you have not already i will be doing a giveaway when i reach 20,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and supporting me. I love you guys. Please comment down below. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know what you want to see from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.